Hello, and welcome to a Momo Monday here on Robert vs. the New York Times Crossword. It's currently 5 to 9 p.m. on Sunday, May 15th in New York City, meaning one minute until the Monday crosswords. Uh, yesterday, I did record a video, actually. I just uh, had problems with the audio, and I didn't want to record a voiceover. So, I actually didn't love the puzzle yesterday. Um, anyway, leaderboard from yesterday. I just barely edged the Glorp by one second, followed by Kimball, Pandaguchi, Bill Boris, Lil Sun, and Stickers at one minute or under. I think I'm going to see Bill Boris in DC in the next couple of days. So send me a text, Bill Boris. Then we had Hoopla, Cape God, Joe Obi, Phil, Mheat17, and Jay. Shout out to all of you. Anyway, it's now 6 o'clock in New York City, meaning we should have some Monday crosswords. So here's your spoiler alert for the Monday Mini, if you would like to play along. Pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The mini is always free to play. All right, let's do it. TNT, twits or something. Notes, uh, trans, amp, tau teaching, potent, kit, my tie, twits. What is twits? Wow, so we have a it's extra wide it is. It's um, six columns wide. And we have two and ten. Okay. No, it was at work when putting two in the arc. And it's strong like a bit of ten in the pot. It's potent with this SSS at the bottom. Certainly interesting. This one... <laughs> it doesn't seem that convincing to me because depending on the stakes of your game, 10 could be a really small bet. Anyway, now for the main event. That's the Monday Daily Grid, which is by Lynn Lempel today, aka Queen of the Mondays. Here's your spoiler alert if you'd like to play along. Pause the video here, click on the link in the description below. The Daily Grid does require a New York Times game subscription. Alright, let's see what Lynn Lempel has in store for us. Let's get into it. Mares, Mazda. Award, uh, Rapid, ESPN, and something. Whatever one wishes, anytime. Right. Starting from, okay, French. I rudely, so Lear or Ogle. Not sure. Falafel? <laughs> These are egos, I guess. Eyed up, maybe. Big fat zeros. This is an oath. Shira. It's Noah, so it's not eyed up. <laughs> Just envied. Roman Garment is Toga, Zappa, uh, on a wall, right? Vote, drink something. Don't know that. Shake up. This is Aesop, Noisy Scuffle, a Row, move speedily. So Rush, maybe? Drench, Soak, Ogle, as of, and this is eel at will, so not rush. Okay. Depend on, just rely, irate. This is a key. Persuades. Sways, probably. This is a walk. Toil arduous, arduously. Ah, run like something. Oh, is he scuffle again? Not sure. This is free, right? Oh, it is falafels. Fray, maybe? Drink like a fish. That's cute. Goose eggs. And like a deer. Okay, so we've got a animal theme. Elements that make up the atmosphere. Uh, I don't know. This is an emu though. This is TJF. Tag. Very many. A lot. Crawls. Slithers. Tart hard candies. Sour something. Elmo. A few. I guess we have a lot and a few. Work like a dog. Let's see. Shout out to Momo. It's beat. I like Guinness. Observe intently. Watch like a hawk. This is a kettle. If all else fails. Sour balls. Adult. Dr. Dre. Roll call. Got a job, I guess. Gases. Okay, just that. Um, anklet. Do. American Samoa and streets. Twins. Skeet. Uh, this is Laic and scat. Earl Grey T, Jamie Foxx, Rhyme, 
ozone and haze. All right. So we've got things that you can do like an animal, drink like a fish, run like a deer, work like a dog, watch like a hawk, and I believe this is the revealer. Oh, it's kind of a revealer, I see. It's sort of a hidden revealer. These are all ending in beasts. But the beast, nice little shout out there. I had um had some trouble in some spots actually on this this Momo Monday. We also do have some other animals. We at least have mares here. Which is kind of the only other no, we also have emu. So we've got a few other animals in the grid. Goose eggs. So some other animals. Had trouble figuring out as of crossing at will. And falafels. Aren't the falafels... <laughs> Aren't the falafels really the, the chickpea balls themselves? I don't know. You can call the whole sandwich a falafel, I guess. That's what was throwing me off, so I, I didn't put in falafel. Yeah, I, that's what I thought. The falafel is the fritter, commonly served in a pita, but falafel also frequently refers to a wrap sandwich that is prepared this way. Yeah, I guess I would always say falafel sandwich, but that's just me. Trevor Noah. I wonder if this is also kind of, this is slightly animal adjacent as well, right? as well as we had Noah in the mini. Frank, Zappa. We've got Eel, a lot of animals. Aesop with also kind of animal adjacent. These are sort of um, animal bonuses here. We also have both a lot and a few. It's interesting. Little slight callback. Yeah. Jamie Fox. That's sort of also an animal too. <laughs> Fox with an extra X. I, I wonder how much of this is um on purpose. Let's see, let's see what else we got. Falafels. Maybe it's because it's pluralized. that we want this sandwich clue rather than the actual fritter. Because presumably... Actually, I don't know how, how do you... <laughs> I'd probably pluralize falafel with falafels, but maybe it's not. Yeah. Anyway, I do like falafel, as well as goose eggs, as Phil didn't know Len Dawson, unfortunately. We've got these two adjacent things that are clued the same. Len Dawson. He played for primarily the Chiefs. Shout out to Hill. Super Bowl champion, Super Bowl 4. As well as Super Bowl MVP. So I guess sort of a NFL legend from back in the day. Is he in the Hall of Fame though? He is in the Hall of Fame. There you go, Len Dawson. Sour balls. Is that a brand name? <laughs> it is. Oh yeah, sure. Charms. I remember these. I haven't had one in a long time. Crawl. Is the slither the same thing as crawl? I don't know, the only way I could describe the way that the snake moves is slither. <laughs> um Yeah, Lake and Irma. Let deuce. It's gonna be a... It's a film from the 60s. Romantic comedy. I thought I was referring to like an, an actress. <laughs> but no, Shirley MacLaine played Irma Let Deuce. Wait, isn't... no. 
Shirley McLean. Just trying to learn stuff, you know. I wasn't familiar with Irma Ledoux's this movie, this rom-com from the 60s, maybe at some point. I should watch it. Seems unlikely though. Uh, yeah. This one uh, had some slight spots where I was kind of held up, but 2.40 is a pretty normal time for a Monday. A lot of animals in this theme. I wonder if this was originally supposed to be a revealer, but yeah. I think that's a, that's a cute little Monday. Be, I'd say, pretty normal for a Monday. For those interested at home, I think I went 1304 yesterday. Probably look that up, right? Oh, but the times on 1312, that actually seems like it's about right. Sometimes there are glitches when you check your old times on the website. I don't know what's up with that. Anyway, leaderboard for tomorrow. We got anybody? Nobody yet. Hope you're all enjoying this Sunday evening. Shout out to Momo. Go visit Momo on Instagram at momoco.thou.chiba. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you tomorrow for some Tuesday puzzles. See you then.